Hello my friends, today we will be learning how to interface the RS203 thermal printer with an Arduino Uno and how to use it to make our very own token machine. Let's get started. So you might be wondering how thermal printers can print without using any ink and the answer is that they use a special type of paper called thermal paper which is coated with a heat sensitive material. This material becomes black whenever it is heated. The thermal printer head heats specific regions of this paper to turn them black so that it can print letters, words, sentences, and even sometimes graphics. That's how thermal printers work. Now let's see how the electronics part of our token machine works. So this thermal printer, the RS203, which I purchased from Robocris, communicates to its master with the RS232 communication protocol, which is extremely similar to UART, except in this case, it has two extra communication signals, DSR and DTR. Now, when the Arduino owner wishes to send a signal to the RS203 thermal printer, it sets the DTR signal high, which is connected to A1, as you can see here. And the RS203 thermal printer re responds by setting the DSR pin high. This is connected to A0. After this, the Arduino Uno is free to send any commands to the RS203. Now, as you can see, the RS203's power pins are connected to the Arduino Uno's voltage input pin through a relay module. This connection is only active when the relay is switched off. When it is switched on, these power pins are connected to the ground pins and it is inactive. The RS203 thermal printer's ground pins are connected to the Arduino's ground pins. Now the relay module has the capacity to switch on and off the RS203 thermal printer and to use this capability, it is connected to the Arduino Uno on the Uno's pin number 4 as you can see here. Now this setup also features a quadrature rotary encoder which senses the rotation of the paper roll and also the use of paper. Aside from its ground and power pins, its two signal pins are connected to pins 2 and 3 of the Arduino Uno. Finally, it also has a push button connected to pin 12, which is the signal for the Arduino to start dispensing the tokens. Now let's see how the code part of it works. So this is the code for our thermal printer token machine. So in the starting, the first thing we do is that we include the software serial library. This library allows us to define software defined serial ports which allows us, which allow us to do UART communication without actually having to use the hardware UART pins. This is important because the hardware UART pins on the Arduino Uno are also used for sketch uploading. Next, we include the encoder library, which helps us interface with quadrature rotary encoders. Next, we define a software serial UART port on pins seven and eight. Seven is transmit, eight is receive and an encoder on pins 2 and 3, just like it is in the schematic. Then we define a few variables, which will have an importance role rate. Now the byte tries defines how many times this device has tried to boot up the thermal printer. Long token signifies the token number. And these two signify the state of the button, which is connected to pin 12. Now here the first thing we do is we start the printer UART port at the baud rate of 9600. Now when this printer came, I found in its packaging a label that said its baud rate was 9600 and turns out it was. Now we set pin 4 to output because that's the pin which is connected to the relay and we set pin A1 to output because that's the pin which signals the printer that is ready to begin communication. And we set pin 12 to input pull up because there's no pull up resistor for the button. And um, all Arduino pins are input by default, so we don't have to set the others. So the first thing we do 
after setting the pin modes is we write pin for low what this does is it turns the thermal printer on after that we set pin a1 to high now what this means is that the printer and the arduino uno are now ready to begin communication this is confirmed after pin a0 becomes high because while pin a0 is low the condition between these two braces will keep repeating and in new is there's nothing between them so until this is true this will keep repeating now what we do is we take a reading of the encoder's position so ideally in the beginning the encoder should have a position of zero now we put in a for loop of tries now the tries will go from zero to 20 and it will keep adding with each one it will increase by one with each repetition. First thing the Arduino does is it sends the printer a series of printing commands. Now the first thing it does is it sends the first line and then it writes 10. 10 is a signal to print and then feed one line. Then this and then print and feed the line. And then it adds two more new lines. After that, it prints this series of dashes which signifies as a cutting point and then it adds three more lines and then it has a two second delay now it reads the sensors position into a different variable and it checks whether paper was used between these two readings because if paper was used the readings would have differed and that is signified by the not equal to if that is true then the for loop is broken and the code outside the for loop continues. Now, if this is not true and all these write commands have failed to do anything, then the Arduino owner resets the printer by sending a short pulse to the four pin. This turns power to the printer off and on again. So in essence, it keeps rebooting the printer until it responds. You might wonder why this mechanism is necessary. Well, it's because when I first got this printer, I did it without the relay and the rotary encoder. But then I found in some cases, it was receiving power but not working. And the power had to be turned off and on again for it to work properly. Which is why I got the relay and the rotary encoder in place and began to use this process. Now, at the end of the for loop, if the for loop had completed 20 tries without any success, the program stops right here otherwise it continues with the loop function now first thing the loop function does is it reads pin 12 now if pin 12 is low which means the button is pressed and the old state is high which means the button was not pressed before the token number is increased and then the printer prints token number whatever the token number is and then a few new lines and then this series of dotted lines and then a few more new lines. After that, it sets the old state back on to the new state and then with, it adds a delay of 100 milliseconds. So basically, when the but at the instant when the button is pressed, this prints a token. But if you hold down the button, it will not keep printing new tokens. That's all the code, the schematic diagram and a data sheet to the printer will be included in the description. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.